In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the best ways to defend the Trips tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly come through doing daily videos that share offensive and defensive tips and tricks. So if you're looking to get better on either sides of the ball, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with all the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, today we're talking about um, a play breakdown from my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. Now, if you're new to the channel and you haven't heard of this yet, that is my complete defensive guide for teaching people how to play defense in this game. And so if you're sitting there looking, maybe you're struggling on the defensive side of the ball, or maybe you just want to learn a little bit more about the defensive side of the ball, I want to encourage you to go ahead and pick that up. I'm going to leave a link in the description below that's going to allow you to be able to get access um, to that ebook. So if you want to get that full defensive guide, that is going to be available in the description. Now in today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about the nickel 335 wide um, as it pertains to the trips tight end. And when I start against trips tight end, this is kind of my base trips tight end defense. I like to go ahead and put all of my flats here on default. As you can see, option defense is going to be on conservative. Ball and air defense is going to be set to play ball. And I'm going to put the cover four show two in my audibles. As you can see, that cover four show two is in my audibles. And I'm going to come out in the nickel 335 wide or 335 normal uh, cover four. Now the reason that I do that partially is because the 335 normal is a great formation, but also because the 335 normal allows me to sub in safeties at every linebacker position, which then allows me to audible down into the 335 wide. And now as you can see here, I have a safety at all of these positions. So that's kind of the thought process behind that. Now, whenever I audible over to this, um, what I like to do is I like to shift my defensive line to the right, crash my defensive line out, and I'm gonna kind of stand with my user right about here. This is kind of our base front for defending something like a trips tight end uh, type of formation. Now, the next thing that I like to do, and really the, the biggest problem with trips tight end, in my opinion, is going to be this circle receiver. And so what you wanna do is you wanna man up your linebacker onto the circle receiver just like that right there. But I'm gonna do one little tip that I think is super underrated. I'm gonna shade coverage inside. I'm not gonna shade it down. I'm not gonna you know do anything other than that. I'm just simply gonna shade my coverage to the inside. So I'm not shading underneath. I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm just shading it simply to the inside. From that point on, what I'm gonna simply do here is I'm gonna drop my uh, defensive end on the right of side of the screen here. I'm gonna drop him into a little three rack hook zone just like this right here. And then this linebacker right here, Redmond, what I like to do with him is I like to go ahead and just drop him into a either a curl flat or a seam flat type of zone. Uh, we're going to have really solid zone coverage on this side of the field. And as you're going to see, this is kind of the base defense. Now, depending on how they run their routes, you're going to see here that I'm going to basically lurk in the middle of the field. The biggest thing that they're going to be able to do most of the time is they are going to be able to hit their running back. Um, there are some ways around this, and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. But what you're going to notice here is again, this is kind of the core. So we're going to start with we're going to start with just manning that guy up on the circle receiver, shading inside to take care of any bombs that they might do on that left hand on that left side. And then as you're going to see, we're going to have this nice little natural um, you know kind of deal right here. Now, one other thing that you could also do if you wanted to, like I said, is you could take this guy right here, King. You could put him into a uh, deep half if you want to be a, like super, super safe. You could also put him into a hook curl. Uh, due to the fact that you have quarter flats here, this will leave a, a little bit of vulnerability. So for example, if they did something like this combination right here, um, you should see that the triangle receiver, unfortunately, is going to be wide open if I put him in a hook curl. It would be perfect if you could, if that quarter flat would match him. But unfortunately, I haven't found a good zone uh, to put over there. One other tip on this is whenever you're in this, you want to audible. You want to kind of wiggle your user a little bit because when you audible, there's no tell. He's not going to jump to the outside like that. So if you wiggle him just a little bit pre-snap, that's going to help you a ton. Um, and then I want to show, just try this with you a little bit here. We're going to use that seam flat this time on that side to see if that seam flat will carry. Unfortunately, seam flats normally don't. They don't normally only match, as you can see there, they do. They only match in a three by one scenario. 
So that's why you can't really put that guy in a hook curl. It'd be perfect if you could because that would take care of everything, but it just it just doesn't work that way. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to move this. We're going to do a, a different adjustment. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, again, shading that coverage inside just like that. We've got the three rec hook over here on the right side. The way we do that is by hot routing him to a bluff blitz. And then the right of screen linebacker, we put him into a seam flat, as you can see right here. And then basically from there, it's it's honestly, you know, whatever you want to do. And then you could do a lot of things with this guy as well. This guy is kind of a little bit of a free runner, um, and you can do whatever you want with him. Uh, because you've matched coverage with circle right here on this side, you could take this guy right here. This guy, actually, you could easily put him into like a hook curl right over the middle of the field here just to simply play kind of a, a little bit of almost like a cover three style. And then if they do something like this, you know, you now have fairly solid little coverage. You see that they're going to carry just like that, and you're going to kind of leverage in that user. So that's something you could also do if you wanted to. The one thing is whenever they go into motion out of their trips, so you'll see, you see how my guy motioned over there? That's why I want to wiggle him a little bit. But whenever they go into motion, so like let's say that they motion uh, the triangle receiver, okay? I'm going to put just simply put the triangle receiver on a um, little, little um, you know, just like a little uh, slant, maybe. Uh, yeah, just put him on a little slant, just like this right here. I'm going to do this route combo. Whenever they motion the triangle receiver, uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just put seam flats on both of your purples. If you can turn both of your purples zones into seam flat zones, you're gonna see that match coverage is going to literally work like a charm. They're gonna cross with them very nicely and you're gonna have a very good opportunity. So um, you could start with quarter flats and work into seam flats when they motion if you have that ability to adjust. If you don't, the quarter flats will be fine, but I would recommend shifting into seam flats. But again, you see I'm just gonna wiggle kind of do this adjustment right here like so. And again, the biggest thing that they can hit me with is a is that little route to the running back. If I wanted to stop that route to the running back, all I would need to do is shift my defensive line to the left, just like this right here. And then I would just go ahead and bluff blitz that left of screen guy. And you'll see here that that's gonna kind of hang on it very nicely. You see he sits right over the middle on it perfectly. And then I have now the freedom to be able to go do whatever I need to do. So. Those are a couple of different ways that you could set this up, but this is the best defense in the game right now, in my personal opinion. And if you want to learn the entire way to play this defense when it comes to um, run defense, pressures, user rushes, glitches, um, match defensive principles, as well as zone drop defensive coverages, as well as some of the best blitzes in the game and man coverage as well. If you want to learn how to shut down every formation in Madden 21, I want to encourage you to go ahead and pick up that nickel 335 wide defensive guide. There's going to be a link. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to be able to go get that. I'm going to try as well to put a link in the comments for you um, so that you can get access to that. But again, it's the best defense in the game, in my opinion. And um, anyways, that's how you get it. And uh, we'll talk. If you have any questions, just text me. Uh, but if you want to get that full defensive guide, that's going to be available in the description.